So I need to use derivative recognition to evaluate this limit. Um, sorry about the numbering system, it has to do with um, organizing stuff on YouTube, so it just makes it easier for me. Anyway, uh, so 1c here, I need to identify my function, uh, f of x. I look for, um, actually, so I wrote in red down there, there's two definitions of limit. Uh, or two limit, sorry, there's two definitions of derivative that, are, that use limits that kind of show up a lot on these types of problems. Um, this one is the red one that I wrote down here, and I think the next one is the next one, or is the other one. So um, it's f of x minus f of a over x minus a. This is my f of x. Notice this is 7 plugged in for x here. Right? And then I have x minus 7, and its limit is x approaches 7. So you should be able to identify that f of x in this case is 1 over x, um, and that uh, which I am going to go ahead and write as x to the negative 1. And you should also identify that we are looking at a equal to 7 in this case. So I'm going to take the derivative of f of x because this limit thing tells me that it's f prime of 7. Um, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking, they want to know what is f prime of 7. So in order to figure that out, I have to find f prime of x, and then I'm just going to plug 7 into it. So um, I do power rule on this thing, which gives me uh, f prime of x equals negative 1 times x to the negative 2 which I'm going to rewrite as negative 1 over x squared. And now I'm looking for f prime of 7, so I'm just going to plug 7 into this. f prime of 7, negative 1 over 7 squared, which is negative 1 over 49. And that's my answer.